don't need a high-end designer or a lot of money to get a luxe look. Be your own interior designer. This is Affordable Interior Design, the podcast. Here's your host, Betsy Hellman. All right, my next question comes from Renee. And Renee writes, Hi, Betsy. Thanks for all the free advice. Renee, it's my pleasure. Thanks for being a listener. Thanks for writing into the mailbag. If you haven't already, please go and leave us a review. It would be most appreciated. And that's the only thanks I need for giving you all these great tips and this amazing content. The more reviews we have, the more we get found, the more listeners and downloads we get, which in turn leads to podcast growth. So thank you, Renee. Thank you. You write, uh, here are some before and afters from a question I submitted a while ago. I was trying to find a focal point for my living room. You threw in some advice on hanging art over the couch with better spacing, and we love it all. We are still working on styling the shelf in a toddler-friendly way, but I am so happy and I wanted to show and to tell you. Well, Renee, thank you so much for this update. I really appreciate it. Guys, if you want to see Renee's before and afters, go to our YouTube channel. It's affordable interior design, of course. And we have a robust YouTube channel where not only can you watch an entire episode at a time, you can also just tune in to catch her question. So we have the um, videos also broken down question by question. So if you're just looking for advice on one topic, you can search within our YouTube channel and find Every time we talk about paint, every time we talk about dining room rugs, and every time we share some before and afters. So here we go, Renee, just looking through your pictures, you know, it does make a big difference to take those pictures that you had clustered above the couch and just spread them out. In my opinion, just to go next level with you, I would incorporate more pictures. Right now you have three, one very elongated landscape, one squarish type painted landscape, and one square landscape that's got a frame and a mat and maybe a secondary mat so that it's actually pretty small. I think this vignette would really benefit from some more friends. Now, because you're doing an asymmetrical arrangement, I would recommend doing an odd number of frames or images. So here you have three. So you wouldn't want to include three more because that's six. Instead, you want to include two more or four more so that ultimately you end up with an odd number of pictures in your gallery wall. I think that will look better above your big sofa, and I think you're going to love it even more than you do now. Now let's get to the bookcase that you put next to the television. Yes, the television was in sort of this walkway space, and because the TV isn't centered in the room, then the TV can't be centered in the room. Did I say the sectional? Oh my gosh. Guys, my tongue is really bothering me. In between episode recordings, I'm going to go take some Advil because yoch, yoch. Anyway, back to you, Renee. Um, you were talking about styling these shelves in a toddler-friendly way, and I think you've done just the right thing with a basket at the bottom. You might want to go with a slightly larger basket that better fills that space, and then I would include inside the basket toddler-friendly things. So when your little one comes over to the bookshelf, he, she can pull the basket and take what they want and play with it, and then also take ownership of putting the things away. And I think you've got just the right idea started by incorporating some books and some tchotchkes. I would also consider doing some picture frames because it can be really nice. This is a focal point. I am staring at it when I'm sitting in the sectional. So I love to have some imagery to stare at in addition to the sculptural items and books. Renee, I want to see another after. I want the before, the after, and then the after after. Is that too much to ask? Please send it along. I can't wait to see how everything turns out. A big thank you to Aton and the Embassy who wrote our theme song. A shout out to Catherine Heller who owns the podcast shop and is our editor extraordinaire. We also want to thank Jenny Sunnison and her team at the Savvy Podcast Agency for their help with our social, our YouTube channel, and so much more. We also want to thank Uploft, which is our parent company who supports this podcast. 
And lastly, we owe a huge debt of gratitude to you. Thank you so much for tuning in and for all your support.